What's up guys, it's Sharice with The Tech Couple, and again, Corey is sitting this one out, and you should know what that means. I got some girly cases coming for you. So the good folks over at Casely sent me some very pretty and ultra girly cases for the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone XR. Let's go ahead and open them up. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in and open up this very pretty glittery case. Now I do want to say, just because I have some of these cases for the 10s Max or for the 10R, they're available for all of Apple's current lineup. And I am not the best at opening things, so even if this doesn't require one, I'm gonna use this box cutter and cut it wide open because it's just efficient. Look at that, and we're in it. Okay. So, ooh, look at this gold. Ah, this is beautiful. I'm, I'm a girl, I'm a sucker for gold. And this should be for the 10S Max. Let's go ahead and pop it in there. Oh, these colors are so good. Look at how beautiful the gold is with my gold phone. Like, we're done. I know I have more to open, but I'm done. So I'm sure it's a tech couple, I'll see you guys later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love this. So let's start with the buttons. Okay, the buttons are not hard to push, but not super easy to push. The cutouts are very lined up here, just as you would expect them to be. Doesn't feel, yeah, it's nice and solid on here. Some cases can be really, you know, a little, a little loosey goosey. And again, you have your cutout for your mute toggle switch. And the buttons feel, yeah, they're not hard to push. They're probably about on spec with most cases, not like exactly like pushing your phone, but still really good. There is, there isn't really much lip to speak of. If you look on here, it's kind of flush. I do have a full, very thick tempered glass on here, but as you can see, it is very flush with that tempered glass. And if we flip it over, let's check out the camera. Now it is giving you actually some really good depth on it. If you can see my nail kind of sinking into where the camera is, it is giving you some depth. And I just noticed, it has the holes for if you're a person who likes the little wristlet thing. It does have those holes here too. All right, sweet. So that was case number one. Let's see what else we got here. And I do believe this pretty marble one is also for the 10S Max. Let's just keep it going with those. Ooh, this is pretty. This one's pretty. So before I even put it on, I don't think the clear one had that, but this one has some nice Casely branding right on the inside. This is pretty. All right, let's see if I can pop this other one out. You can do it. I can do it. I'm a big girl. I did it by myself. You can't. <laughs> Siri got a smart mouth. <laughs> that was priceless and totally unplanned. All right, let's pop this one in. Wow, I can't get over that. Sydney just, Sydney, Siri just be talking to me any kind of way, don't she? All right, so this is a slightly different feeling case than the last one, but how pretty is this blue, like, marble pattern? Isn't that gorgeous? Like that is so pretty and it's subtle, but you can see like the little bit of gold around the camera here. That is very nice. All right, let's check out these buttons cause that's what you all wanna know about, right? So the power button, it is clickier actually than the last one. This is probably about what I would expect. The speaker and the lightning are all cut out here. Nice and lined up. And then your mute toggle is exposed, which I actually really prefer. Sometimes it's really difficult if it's not or if they have that little flap. So I'm glad that this doesn't have that. 
These buttons are very tactile as well. As you can see here, this one has a good amount of lip on the front. Again, I have a very thick tempered glass and this is, this is giving a whole lot of depth here. As far as the back, the camera's actually, coincidentally, it's the flip-flop of the other one, where the other one didn't have as much front coverage. This one doesn't have as much for the camera. It's kind of lined right up with your camera, so it doesn't give you a ton of depth coverage there, but it's fine, because it's nice and flush. It looks good. I like it. This is a very pretty looking case. Even around the front, it has this kind of white bumper right edging around it. I like this. Very, very nice. All right, moving on to the 10R cases. This one looks like a donut. I mean, I'm really simple, but it looks like a donut. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and demolish the packaging. Getting very pretty, clear, easy to pop on. And it's on, look at that. And look at how pretty the donut is with the coral. Right, it has a little bit of like a holographic iridescence going on in the sprinkles. Who doesn't love a donut, right? It's beautiful, I love the translucence. You can still see the coral through it, but it has this fun pattern. I love that. I love that, okay. Let's go ahead and check out these buttons. You guys know the drill by now. Oh, sorry. I accidentally unmuted myself. All right, so this feels consistent with the clear case on the 10S Max. Like, not hard to push, but you can see. It's not like super easy to push either, which isn't like a problem problem. Just wanted to point it out. The speaker cutouts and the lightning cutout are a little well, on the larger side, but they're still accurate. Nothing's being covered up, which is really the most important part. Am I right? If we flip on over here, you got your cutout for your mute toggle switch. It's not too difficult to get in there. These buttons are, yeah, the same as the power button. Not difficult, not easy, just pretty average. And it also has that cute little cutout if you're the person who likes the wrist strap, you know, if you're prone to dropping. As far as your on the table protection or your lip here, it is giving you a little bit of coverage. Now keep in mind this 10R does not have any sort of screen protector or tempered glass, so I imagine if it did, it would probably be flush, but as far as just the naked phone, it's doing pretty good there. Let's flip it over and check out the camera. The camera, it is covering you completely as you can see it is nice and deep so it's covering your camera well not covering your camera but it's deep enough to you know not have your camera just rubbing on the table or any other surface yeah i like this this is really super duper this is super cute i can't get over the fun little pattern there <laughs> All right, and last but not least is I think what's probably gonna end up being my favorite. I really can't tell you why, but it has cactuses on it. All right, oh, I ripped that one open. <laughs> okay, let's slide this in there. Make sure I go back on silent. Okay, and here we have these cactuses. Now, how cute is this? Again, it has that kind of shimmery iridescence to it. It's so pretty. Oh, that is pretty, you guys. I love it. And then the subtle, like, one of the angles that you hit definitely has more of a coral shimmer to it, which really goes well with this phone. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna push all the buttons, but I'm sure it's gonna be exactly the same as before. It's basically the same exact case as the donut case, like <laughs> just with a different pattern on it, the same sort of cutout, the same everything. It's, it's basically the same exact case. So I will spare you and go ahead and say, I love how girly these cases are. 
These are very, very pretty and super duper affordable. I want to say they were all between $10 and $15, but the exact information will be on the screen and of course available at the links down below. I do want to say again, thank you so much to Casely for sending these over. I am in love. I mean, hello. <laughs> again, I am Sharice with The Tech Couple. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.